Hello everyone, how are you all? Welcome back to the channel again. I hope all are good and learn something new with day by day. So welcome back to the another video. Today we discuss about the temperature related errors, right? In this topic. So today topic a temperature related error, especially for the Techno Infinix uh, Itel. These kind of the economics brands, right? The economical phones. Because this is a special request give a video for uh, techno and phoenix uh, this kind of the phones which had a thermal error most of the time the thermal error right now in these type of the phones right also does not have a smatics available i mean to say when you go to the burn your other software tools right for the other smatic tools you will see i uh, rarely find a full information some had the only hardware solution models had a only a bitmap some models had a only a smatics available so it's not complete information so many technicians stuck over there right so today we discuss about this topic right with the logic with the smatics also you will learn right if a model does not have a smatics right how to repair according to the other model looking by the other model which had is matrix right so we will see two or three information right a model only had a hardware solution the other model had is matrix so how to combine and fix this issue right also if you understood this concept of thermal related right when you connect a charger this error will be a pair unplug the charger the thermal error this error comes from the thermal line right a thermal line thermistor line so if you understood this concept it will be helpful for the other brands also like your samsung oppo vivo realme xiaomi the all the other brands right so watch this video bit by bit today we took a model for a techno a techno phone techno bg6 so in front of you this is the model which had a pmu ump 510 g right now this model let's say had a thermal related issue when you connect a charger this kind of the error will be appear in front of you so how to solve basically there is a lot of videos in a youtube someone says connected this right uh, this jumper from the this jumper this component to this component basically in a mobile repair field every situation right if a phone come to you there is a different situation maybe someone remove this distance so this model only had a hardware solution does not available in smatics also the hardware solution it's not completed with the full information like uh, this line connecting here the orange line it's a battery temperature adc circuit right battery thermal line now this line connect from uh, this point over there is a capacitor there is a two resistance right here now from this resistance to this resistance this line goes to the pmu right so how to diagnose this information is also does not complete also there is a no value how much value of these resistance by chance these resistance not available someone remove it or this resistance is value change so how do we change without knowing the value so i will i will clear you how the circuit work how the divider circuit works right with the complete information but i will tell you again in this video so you can understood properly right so this circuit this line connected here now first of all i'll tell you on this tp this is a test point whenever a phone come to you for uh, this error right when you connect a charger and uh, unplug the charger this kind of the error will be appear in front of you your first job open the motherboard i mean to say open the phone right remove the battery connector to the motherboard right after you can check here on this line you will get a 1.8 to 2.8 voltage some phones you will get a 1.8 voltage some phones you will get a tray if your phone is okay there is a no issue regarding the charger right then this voltage will be divided here like uh, 2.8 voltage will be divided into like a 1 volt 
क्लियर हाउ दिस वोल्टेज डिवाइड आई वो ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन टू यू राइट बट इफ दिस वोल्टेज डज नॉट डिवाइड हेयर मे बी योर बैटरी इशू Why the battery issue? How to confirm the battery is okay or not? Also tell you in this video. Still, if there is a 2.8 voltage here, let's say, and after connecting the battery, it goes to the one volt. The voltage drop. The circuit working, right? But still there is an error, right? When you wire connected charger, still there is error. So how to solve? this which line responsible right we discuss in this video according to this circuit so it will be better understanding 13k plus 6.7 so approximately 0.9 something voltage in output line right when you connect a charger v bus goes to the charging ic after the charging ic it right after the pmu okay it's generate the buck voltages and the ldos one of the ldos called 2.8 voltage right so in this line you will get a 2.8 voltage here right so 2.8 voltage through this line through this resistance 13k resistance through this resistance it's available on this line or this tp the other line does not show any borneo right that's why we call this line is output and this line is input so third 13k resistance right available here the bottom side is r2 no it's not r2 the r2 insert in a battery connector as i told you it's connecting to the battery ground from the other side so this value is 6.5 7k r2 so according to the divider circuit formula voltage in voltage here on this point right on the reference point or this resistance open or this line does not open from a pmu a zero volt then the pmu think the circuit is abnormal that's why it shows the charging error right a thermal error basically when you connect it disconnect the charger something gets heat up right battery temperature goes rise right these kind of the error i think now you get it right if you still confused watch this video again and again now we go to the smatex to this data after this data give it to the scl protocols lines to soc your main cpu after cpu sense this there is a circuit error and appear the thermal error because cpu control the graphics right so take the data from the pmu right now pmu or soc it does not sense these lines okay or not it's only working on the voltages logic high and logic low detected detected so this line come here on this circuit right so this line connected to the i mean to say from this side there is a battery connector right here let me tell you this line come from the battery connector thermal line okay now in this line you will see there is a not fitted a resistance not fitted and fee not fitted no availability this resistance is a 13k it's connected on this line also there is a 5110r ohms 500 ohms approximately now this line goes to the other side also this resistance let me show you first of all this resist so in this line you will get a 2.8 voltage similar this resistance because this line connected to the tp here so there is a 
voltage divide here so let's say 1 volt here so this 1 volt goes to the PMU the PMU sends the charger connected also everything is ok when we open this layout and copy this and paste in schematics and open 1.85 voltage so in this line 1 volt so 1.85 voltage here 47k resistance R1 and this line goes to the right here 5110 resistance R video right this is our reference resistance through regi this resistance this orange line goes to the PMU right PMU for the reference this resistance is value 5110R right maybe the char BMS flex your ch battery battery flex somewhere damage this connector damage right or the resistance on a battery how do you check already explain right now still if there is a same issue right if you get the drop voltage here a 1 volt right let's say then maybe from 